Going forward in my curly hair journey, I never want to be without these things. And I'm not exaggerating. I don't want to live in a world without my conditioner. No! No! Somebody! I need more conditioner! What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel with your main girl and Curly Mel. I have lived and dealt with curly hair for nearly 25 years! Actually, I was bald the first two or so, but I digress. I've always been like this. In fact, my exact anniversary of being a curly and coming out of the womb, aka my birthday, is coming up on July 22nd. Yes, and as we look back to follow up last week's video where we brought things back to the basics with a very beginner's routine and boot camp, in today's video, I wanted to share the products and tools that I wish I had from the beginning. So without further ado, here are 10 things that I don't know what I would do without. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. I will be listing these things not in the order of importance, they are all equally as important, but in the order of my application while I take you through my wash day. That being said, the first product that I'm going to mention is very, very, very important to me because I could not live without a good hair oil, okay? If you know me, then you know I always use a hair oil or serum at the end of my wash day to lock everything in and to break out the cast and bring out the volume, but I also use a hair oil to refresh my hair throughout the week to continue to add shine, to help with dry detangling and getting through any really knotted areas of my hair. While being so versatile, a good hair oil can be used on my scalp to massage, which is great if you have dry scalp, or maybe you use one that's targeted for hair loss as well, and to prevent split ends. How? Because it keeps the hair moisturized and it helps to add shine. And by doing all this, it helps me protect my hair from washing, preventing damage to my cuticles, preventing high growth fatigue, and also helping prevent color fading. And while there has been cycles throughout the curly hair community of oils being good versus oils being bad, I will always be team oils because the hair is team oils. The hair is naturally very lipophilic, it attracts oils into its center, and a great hair oil will help to penetrate the hair while also giving you a protective coating. It's honestly hard for me to choose just one hair oil that I love, and I do separate oils from serums, but out of a more natural oil or treatment oil for the hair, I do look for a blend so I'm getting different benefits. So this is the Verb Moringa and Jojoba oil, which I use a lot. It's fragrance-free and can go on the scalp. So is the Curlsmith Shine oil. I really like this one as well. Very lightweight if you have fine hair. And I also really like the Mizani 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil. It's a little bit heavier, so if you have, you know, thicker, coarser hair, then you won't mind this, but beware if you have fine hair. This one's a little bit more of an all-in-one because it's got so many different oils, including coconut oil, which my hair personally loves, really penetrates into the hair strand. I really like the smell of it as well. And overall, I like it as a silicone-free option. Those three are all silicone-free. And my most used hair oil is the Verb Ghost Oil as a serum. It's more of a styler. You can use it on wet or dry hair. It's got some protein in it. It does have those silicones. It gives heat protection and it's super lightweight. It can be used on everyone's hair. It's got Moringa oil. It's a fabulous styling product. I've been through so many empties of this. But it's more for styling, not so much of a treatment oil. So I wouldn't put it on my scalp, but it's still extremely versatile and it's a great hair oil that did change my life. I'm an oil girl. And now that we are thoroughly oiled up, I've gently detangled with my fingers to kind of pull out some of the loose hairs before going into the shower. I am now ready to talk about my next holy grail. Okay, I've washed and I feel so much better. The second thing I cannot live without is a clarifying shampoo. And I mean a good clarifying shampoo. And if you watched last week's curly hair back to basics boot camp video, I did share that I have been obsessed with the Olaplex 4C clarifying shampoo. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag I wish. Hashtag I've just always been an Olaplex girly. As someone who only washes my hair once, maybe twice a week, using a clarifying shampoo is very important to the health of my hair and most importantly, my scalp. And this one has been amazing for removing buildup from products, pollutants, minerals, chlorine, literally all of the things. There was a time in my childhood life when I did not use shampoo because I hated how it made my hair feel, but this really does not strip the hair. And you can use it more regularly than other clarifying shampoos that I also really like, like the Malibu C Undo Goo, because this one's pH balanced to match the pH of our hair a little bit better, so it won't make your hair feel rough. Truly amazing. It's my current fave, but in general, a good clarifying shampoo changed my life 
and will also change you. If you've been struggling with volume, I'm looking at you, okay? Release your inner beast. Remove all that old poo. And let's get into number three, detangling. A detangling brush, that is. Now, I have used many detangling brushes in my lifetime. I've loved wet brushes, I've used and liked the flexi brushes, but ultimately, I think I love Tangle Teaser's Wet Detangler the most because it is the most versatile. And if I were to be stranded on a deserted island with only one brush, this would be it. It just has these little fine, very flexible needles that I find gets into my tangles very easily without breaking, you know, breaking my hair or my scalp. As a child, when my parents used to take care of my hair, we didn't know to brush with conditioner until, you know, trial and error. So I've experienced a lot of pain throughout my life and this is definitely one of the most pain-free brushes. And doing it in this wet and conditioned state is the best time to be detangling. I'm actually now just brushing through a product that did not make the list because I can live without it, but I don't want to live without it. It's the K18 because it's not necessarily a need, but it's most definitely a want. I don't want to live without it or really ever do hair again without it. But I digress, after my detangling brush, let's take a look at the list. Let's see, what could it be? Whip my hair with my eyeballs. There is no need for that to be as painful as it was. That was so rude. My beloved microfiber towels, and I'm specifically talking about these. I want you to think about whatever you know a microfiber towel to be. This is way more silky. This is like a nanofiber towel. It is the perfect hair care towel. This pattern specifically, X means by Mel. New limited edition collection 2022, but I digress. Talking so about this, starting the fact that I put my name on this. The reason why I did that is because this is the best microfiber towel I have ever touched, and it's the only one that touches my head. Not only is it extremely absorbent and great for quick drying, I use it a myriad of ways, including just before going in with my K18 treatment. Look how dry my hair is already. This piece is really, she's drying rapidly. Which is good because before applying my K18 treatment, my hair needs to be very thoroughly towel dried. And within two minutes, my hair was like 70% dry. So it's the absorbency for me and also the fact that it is so silky. These are the microfiber towels of my dreams. And the pattern is just so groovy. 100% designed by me. We're not, we're, we'll get more into it later, but we need to, I need to wet down my hair again now. That way we can go into the next thing. So the next thing would be a hair cream. Now here I am aggressively generalizing. When I say a hair cream, I'm referring to a leave-in conditioner, a styling cream, some sort of lotion, something moisturizing to leave into my hair. Specifically, I am saying my hair. My hair is very high porosity, as we can see. It can dry very, very quickly. It will not hold on to moisture well if I do not moisturize it with a cream to help lock everything in. A cream is an emulsion of water and oil. It's gonna give me both hydration and sealing and shine. And if I'm going in with a styling cream, it's also gonna help me to define. There are several years of my life where I only used creams in my hair. And of course I've grown up since then and I like to apply other stylers on top of that. But at the very least, a cream can both style me and help to even out my porosity and just make my hair really nice and moisturized and help to find my curls. It's a must. It's it's a need for me. And this is one of my favorites. It's the AG Curl Fresh Definer because it really is an all-in-one styling cream. It's a curl enhancer. It has enhancing ingredients in here. It gives your hair hold, definition, shine, long-lasting. It's a holy grail cream. And that goes for both of the curl creams from AG, Recoil and Curl Fresh. This one from AG specifically is silicone free. But additionally, ideally, the cream that I'm applying will also give me heat and UV protectant while also being, you know, moisturizing and give me slip and things like that. So another one that I really like is the Weedad Feather Light Styling Cream from the Advanced Climate Control line. It works really well, especially if you have color-treated hair. It has one of my favorite silicones in here. And my styling creams, again, for my porosity, are wonderfully balanced. Not only are they moisturizing, but they also contain some hydrolyzed vegetable proteins. This helps with strengthening and giving my hair bounce and just all of the nutrients that my damaged, color-treated, high-porosity hair needs. All in these things. So needless to say, I cannot live without a curl cream. Now the other thing, and you may find this one silly, maybe slightly unnecessary to you, 
But for me, I don't think I can live without my alligator clippies. That may be the stylist in me. I love alligator clips for sectioning. But if you look closely throughout this channel, we are wearing them all the time. I wear them on my wrist. We clip our bangs away with them. These clips specifically are just so freaking handy that I love it for me and I will consider it a need. Moving on, another need for me is more of this. She's almost an empty and she hasn't even released. But generally, a styler, something like a gel or a mousse or a foam, this is going to be essential for me. Why? Because as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I only wash my hair once, maybe twice a week. And a styling product like this gives me the longevity so I can go my whole week and my curls still look good. Now, what's really nice about this one, which you guys will learn more of from me, okay? It's that I can brush through my hair with it, which is going to help give me maximum definition from my styling that I do with a detangling brush that I said I cannot live without. Are you seeing how everything here is full circle? In and out, in and out. There goes that clip. Specifically out of a foam styler, the thing that I really love the most is how lightweight and versatile it is. You can use it just to scrunch or brush it through like I just did. And you can just see how amazing these curls are already looking. And now I'm ready for drying. I am most definitely not an air dry type of curly. We know this if we have been watching. And so to speed up drying, I can once again pull out my microfiber towel. This one's mini made for scrunching. Some people refer to this as micro plopping. When I am in a hurry to dry my hair, I most definitely do put my hair in a plop or my hair dries scrunched up in my microfiber towel. But for maximum efficiency, volume, and my very best hair days, it is the diffuser piece that I cannot live without. As a curly who has spent most of my adolescent life looking like a wet dog. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> the bowl diffuser attachment for the blow dryer saved and changed my life forever. And if you are a non-believer, I am not only sad for you, but I do have hope for you because it's all in how you use. That's wrong. It's all in how you use it. If your hair is coming out very frizzy when you're diffusing, I challenge you to hover diffuse. These are the methods that I have taught you, or maybe not, if you missed that video. I have shared the method plenty of times on this channel, so you can watch me explain it there in another video. There is no reason for you to hate number eight. That was number eight of things that I cannot live without. I'm gonna fully dry and come back for number nine. And here we are, fully dry. This actually only took me 15 minutes. And I did low heat, which I don't usually do, but I was already sweating. I touched up my makeup with, again, my alligator clips that I love. These ones, unfortunately, have already been ruined during my last color correction, as you can see, but somehow it's still fitting. Just before I finish things off with my step nine and 10 holy grails, I am gonna bring it back to our number one hair oil. This is the hair serum that I love, the Verb Ghost Oil. I take a pump and use this to seal and fluff. And I can gently separate the curls. Mm -hmm. This hair is doing the damn thing. It is moisturized, shiny, soft, defined. Much of that from using mine, and I know I didn't talk too much about it in this video, but you'll hear me talk a lot more about this soon. And yes, by the way, it is vegan and cruelty free. It is also silicone free with no added fragrances, but you know, the details will be below. Let's move on to step number nine. I do love a good satin scrunchie. I dropped half of these. I almost always wear a satin scrunchie as an accessory to match my outfit. This one is from Slip. Or oh, I could go with this one from Aveda. I keep them on me so that I can pop them in my hair anytime I need for loose and damage-free styling. This one is pineappling. Now, honestly, there's a lot of vegan satin scrunchies, which would be polyester on Amazon. But for silk scrunchies that I really like, this one is by Style Fiend. It's really nice, like medium size. But for extra large and also luxury scrunchies, Curl Friend Collective has got those. Look how big. I can't tell you how many times having a satin scrunchie on me has saved me. But besides wearing these things that are satiny, I owe a lot of my hair success to this type of thing that I could not live without. I am a bonnet 
babe. And truthfully, I think I've just suppressed the days where I wasn't wearing one of these things. This is one of my favorites specifically. It is double-sided so I could switch up the color depending on, you know, what pajamas I'm wearing. But it also has this adjustable strap here so I can adjust the tightness to my head. It is elastic. This one specifically is extra large which gives my curls, my length, my volume, enough room to float around without being too squashed or too free where then I'm prone to just being flattened. This bonnet specifically has been my best friend. It's linked in my Amazon as well as many of the products that I have talked about. All of them will be linked in the description box below. But I do want to say that after doing a lot of reflecting and thinking when did I first start wearing my bonnet? It was after I watched the Chris Rock documentary Good Hair. If you have not seen it, you absolutely should. My life has forever been changed for the better. Don't believe me? If after watching this whole video, there are several things that you are missing, I don't want you to break the bank, but I do want you to do a little bit of evaluating. Let's reassess the hair routine and see what we need. These are all of the things that I need. I'm telling you, like my bonnet, when I'm traveling, it stays with me. Carry on, personal luggage, like this is, it's so important to me. As are, you know what, I have one more thing. And I'm about to get really sappy because if there is one more person, place, or thing that I need, it is you being subscribed to me here on YouTube. I'm saying it jokingly, but I'm meaning it sincerely. To my loyal subscribers that have been with me over the years, I truly cannot express how much I appreciate you. You watching my videos has inspired me to continue learning, teaching, and growing together, literally growing. The hair has been growing together. And I'm not saying that I'm having a quarter life crisis, but with my 25th approaching, I've just been doing a lot of reflecting and I literally get emotional thinking about how far we've come. God damn it, Mel, do not cry. I just want you to know that this community truly makes me the happiest, knowing that we can come together every Texture Tuesday and share hair tips, share our journeys, and especially when I get to hear your success stories. That's what keeps me motivated here. So whether you are old or new, my goal is always to be here and inspire you, to share new insights and research, and of course, a good laugh. Got to me smile. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. This has been your main girl Mel, and I am out. Peace. I can't live without these 10 things. Like a snack when I'm filming. Okay. Let's get to it. This hair, it's been through it. It's been through it. It's not usually this big, but I styled for big volume. And then I have just been picking it. Not in a good way, okay? Like, we're causing mechanical damage here, okay? I've done too much. I've done too much. But we're not gonna talk about it. I have used many detangling brushes throughout my lifetime. I've loved... That sounded gnarly. I've loved... It's the chair. That was the chair. And it was, I swear it was the chair. How do I look? Do I look pretty? Excuse you. Just urinating all over the place. Does anyone else's shower do this? It's like an aftershock. I don't know. You're not normal. It's kind of making me have to pee, hold on. Or a foam. I cannot waste the goods like that. I am, I will not waste the goods like that. What did, what was I saying to rhyme? Something about blow me, blow me away, blow me away. An efficiency. I do opt to blow me. Blow me, blow dre. This chair has already been cracked. I am, I'm very scared to continue sitting here. And on that note, I think I'm gonna close off this video, okay, before we get any more emotional.